Hey guys, working on the bus this weekend. Um, I've got a little system in place here, uh, some tooling that I'm going to use to get the roof raised. Let's talk to a friend of mine on the phone and uh, went over to his shop to actually do some cutouts of these pieces. I'll show you some video of that. This is what we kind of came up with. Uh, we're keeping it real simple. Basically got a piece of uh, 7 8 all thread. And then I think these are two inch by five inch uh, steel plate on some real thick walled steel tubing. And uh, this tubing slides on the all thread. So all you have to do is weld these to the hat channel in the window frame and turn the nuts and that will open, open it up. Uh, in turn raising the roof. Now what I'm getting ready to do, I got all this wiring run everywhere. As you can see, it's just a big tangled mess. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna take all this stuff down, mark it. These were you know the speakers that were in here for the PA system, and some of these are lights, of course. So I'm gonna mark them all. I I realize I'm not gonna be using a lot of this, but I'd rather as I coil it up, go ahead and just have it all marked so I know exactly what things were and it'll be easier for me to trace down into the fuse panel here and you know where all the switches and everything are to allow me to maybe redesignate some of these switches to something else you know because I don't need them uh, like like the speakers and you know stuff like that Okay, I drug my welder up here. I'm getting ready to tack these in place or weld these in place. Uh, I'm going to put them centered with this hole. These rivet holes are evenly spaced throughout every pillar in this bus on, on each side. So I'm going to cut the four posts that I'm putting the jack system on uh, right in half. And then the other ones I'm going to stagger them that way it creates a staggered pattern from pillar to pillar so it doesn't just create a straight fault line across the, the bus. 
um, it'll help evenly disperse, you know, uh, the structural integrity of everything. Um, but basically, this is this is where I'm at now. I'm getting ready to tuck these in place, and then I can go through and cut these uh, four pillars, and I'll be ready. Um, I'm probably, I'm definitely, it's it's Sunday evening. I would imagine I I don't have a clock on me, but somewhere around five o'clock probably. So I'm not going to get this done this weekend, but as long as the weekend is nice next weekend, I'll be ready to do this.